The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. A department store Tiffany's in Manhattan was broken into decades ago. And as my father's Atzal said it over so impeccably and so beautiful, you wonder, what did they take? Because Tiffany's had to be closed for an entire day, a whole square block closed. You can only imagine hundreds of thousands of dollars lost. What did they take? They took nothing. All they did, those who broke into the store, was switch price tags. And on something that was $15,000, they put on a price tag of $200, I kid you not. And on something that was a couple hundred bucks, they put on a price tag of 20 k <coughs> You can't possibly open up a store with price tags switched. And so they had to lose an entire day of revenue and sales because they had to adjust the price tags that were switched. And then my father's at Sal would wonder, do we sometimes suffer from the Tiffany-esque syndrome? Do you sometimes switch your price tags? Do you sometimes take the people and gifts in your life that should be an Ikar and make them a Tuffel? And that which should be a Tuffel you get consumed by and you make it an Ikar. Do we sometimes forget the Arava, the people, our friends, the Chizuk, what we have? and we make it a tuffel. And then the thing that shouldn't consume us, take up our days and take up our nights, thus far eleven is thus, until we have nothing left. Don't switch your price tags. Leave here today asking yourselves, do we ever suffer from the Tiffany-esque syndrome? An entire day was lost because people just switch price tags. And sometimes, I am sorry to tell you, people lose their whole life just switching the price tags. Appreciating the gifts of Hashem, what you have, who you have, and how you could impact others, that is juggling your priorities correctly. That is oshir. That is truly wanting what you have. That is fulfilling chizak es Yisrael. Let's be zoiches since we still have the ability, not just to be yaitze, but to have one long life of shliach mitzvah to appreciate the gifts of Hashem. What we have, who we have, and how we could impact others. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. Stories to inspire.org.